What's going on, everyone? So Nev Campbell did a interview with People Magazine and touched on Scream 7 and basically talked about how, you know, the studio came to her, um, you know, respectfully gave her quality offer. Um, you know, she talked about how she had her reservations at first, so to speak, uh, that, you know, what if, what if we're very different uh, ways away from what they believe respectful is? Um, but she said and credited them that, hey, no, they came and started from a place of of good faith, essentially. And uh, yeah, that she was more than happy to sign back on, you know, how she grew up uh, playing the role of Sydney Prescott. She's excited. Uh, she respects the studio for listening to her and bring her back. The only thing I'll say on that is that, like, yeah, it, when you're in a point of desperation, <laughs> right, good on Nev, get your bag, right? N and never, never, uh, never talk about anything otherwise, right? Get your money. You know, if she could get paid, get paid, right? But, you know, from a studio standpoint, it's like, what were their other options here, right? They're, they're kind of in a point of desperation because of the events that happened. But, again, that's not neither here nor there. Don't really want to get into all the, the mess behind the scenes. Kind of keep it on, uh, on script with Scream. But a couple of things that she talked about uh, was the that, you know, she's excited for this upcoming Scream film, um, that there's some good cast members returning, uh, which basically spilled the beans that, you know, Courtney Cox and uh, Patrick Dempsey are returning because those are the ones that have been heavily linked. Um, those are kind of the only ones that could potentially return um, unless they're, you know, I don't necessarily think she's talking about like Hayden or, you know, as many people would love uh, Matthew Lillard. <laughs> I don't think that that's something that, that they would make connection to, but obviously she didn't say the names, but it's it kind of makes sense. Again, a couple reasons. One, like the, the primary reason why I believe, you know, Mark Kincaid's coming back and Patrick Dempsey's portraying the role is because he, you set up Sydney's family and you have her being in this film. How many films can you go through before you have to introduce the husband and the children? Right? Like, at what point do you go like, ah, like we really need, and you set it up to be Mark Kincaid, right? Now, I get that in the, the movie, it was just Mark, right? So you could probably, get, like, if you really had to, you could probably get away with it not being Patrick Dempsey, right? You could just have it be some other Mark. Problem is, is that Nev Campbell herself confirmed and other cast members confirmed that it is Mark Kincaid, right? I mean, Nev had like an entire interview where she talked about how, you know, it's weird that, you know, Patrick Dempsey and her play brother and sister, and now they're married with children, right? So, again, like, it, granted, again, the general audience would probably be none the wiser, but like Scream fans, like diehard Scream fans and people that have seen that interview and stuff they would know and they'd be kind of like, what is this, right? And which would draw some attention, would draw some buzz, which could potentially lead to the masses knowing. So I just think that they, they kind of are in a position where they don't really have a choice but to bring Patrick Dempsey back, which um, based on, you know, rumors, again, everything's a rumor until it's confirmed. Um, but rumor has it that uh, Patrick Dempsey was given a fat payday. And that kind of seems to be the, the narrative right now. That kind of seems to be the conversation, right? According to what we heard from Nev Campbell, it kind of seems that like, hey, the studio's paying out some big bucks right now because they're in a pickle, need to get out of it. So Nev probably got a huge payday. Patrick Dempsey probably got a good payday. Uh, and then, you know, now Courtney Cox, she's returning. She's always been the the heaviest paid, so... I'm sure she's good. I'm sure she's taken care of. Uh, so now you have them back. And again, I mean, if you're going to have Sydney in this film, it makes sense to to have Gail Weathers, right? And, and kind of give us a little bit of the aftermath post uh, Scream 6. I'm curious to see where this picks up, like how tore up is Gail? Is she good? Is she like kind of beat up? You know, what, what, what does it look like with her? That that's going to be very interesting to see how they play that out. But you know, you don't have Dewey Riley anymore, so you got to kind of you know you have Patrick Dempsey 
as Mark Kincaid, you have Courtney Cox, Gail Weathers, you have Nev Campbell, a city Prescott. They're back. They're in the fold. They're in the mix. They're kind of like the new, or not, I guess not new, but you get my point. Like they're the new three, right? Of Gail, Sydney and Dewey. But instead of Dewey, it's Mark Kincaid now. And that's kind of going forward. So you got the, the two female leads and the male lead that are kind of carrying this film. Uh, another big thing she talked about is uh, Kevin Williamson and how excited she is to have him back. Uh, how excited that, you know, she is to see him actually be at the helm as a director. It's something that she's, according to her, something that he always has wanted to do. And that, um, you know, this is his brainchild. This is his baby. So she expects him and trusts that he's going to do a good job, uh, which, you know, I, I've talked about it too. I, I feel a lot more comfortable, I guess, probably the word. Um, now that you have him at the helm, right? That Kevin Williamson is going to be directing it. You know, he, he doesn't have a ton of directing credits. So the, there are some, a little bit of concerns as far as like the directing side of things goes and how that plays out. But I mean, for the overall story direction and kind of the, the overall success of this film, I'm a little more confident in because Kevin Williamson's at the helm. So I, and I believe that he'll have say and power and, you know, and some level of, of control. So I trust that, you know, if something's not really Gail or Sydney like, or, you know, if there's some things that aren't really scream up to snuff type things, I, I could see him kind of, Hey, you know, maybe we should go a different direction with this. Maybe we should look at it over here. But yeah, as far as Kevin Williamson, I believe the only, if I'm not mistaken, I think the only uh, directing credit he has is for, what is it, is it Teaching Mrs. Tingle or something like that? I think that, I think that was the movie. Um, I think that's the only one that he's had like actual directing credit for. Um, but, you know, he, he's, he's a visionary, right? He's got good vision. He understands these characters. He knows these characters. He created these characters. He was... You know, a, a part of this the entirety of the way. So I, I just, I don't see it like him just, if anybody was going to be able to kind of get this right and get this on track and tell a good Sydney and Gale story, I think it's him, right? Because that was my problem with Scream 5 and then even in Scream 6. It's like Scream 5, like Sydney didn't even need to be in that movie. Like it just, there was no point. It's just like, she was just kind of there just to have her there. And then Scream 6 was kind of the same thing with Gail Weathers. Like, what did she do in Scream 6 other than, like, you know, get brutally slaughtered and should have been killed and they didn't kill her. And then, you know, uh, her, I guess, finding the shrine room. But, you know, Detective Bailey says, like, that he was going to reveal it, that Gail Weathers just beat him to it. Like, so again, it's just like she didn't really have any significance there wasn't really any point like she was kind of just like in the film just to be in the film right and so i i had my doubts prior that they'd be able to tell a good convincing you know sydney gale story but now that he's back in the fold i do have a lot more faith and a lot more trust but look i say it all the time at the end of the day i just i want a good scream film and it's all i care about give me give me some good characters tell a good story have you know, a dark, brutal ghost face, right? Let's, let's get some, let's, in a lot of ways, just kind of get back to basics. Like, I don't think you have to really big brain this thing, right? Keep it simple. I, I, I just, I think you have a real opportunity here as far as like the growth and development of Scream because you have Sydney and you have her family. Like that in and of itself is a new dynamic we've never gotten with Scream. So you ha already have just an inherent kind of direction point that is simple in and of itself, but is different from Scream. And I just think you you have a real opportunity here to tell a very good, unique Scream film that could end up being one of the better sequels. You know, that could end up being one of the, the best films in the franchise if it's done and handled correctly, right? And then also, if it has success, you know, you're going to get more Scream, which... I'm always for, right? I say it all the time. You could do Scream every year for ever. <laughs> as long as you can tell a good story and have a good direction and good cast and, you know, a good ghost face and motive and whatnot. Like, you can. You could just 
But the beauty of Scream is you never have to reboot it. You never have to reset it. You can just, just keep going. It's always someone different under the mask. I just don't want the same cookie cutter reasoning is my thing. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. Pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? You know, um, are you excited that Nev's back? Are you excited that, uh, you know, Kevin Williamson's at the helm? What do you think of uh, Patrick Dempsey and Gail Weathers potentially returning? Let's say potentially, even though it kind of felt like, again, if you watch that interview, it kind of felt like that was our confirmation. But again, you never really know. Uh, it's because she she didn't say like new cast or any of that. She said, you know, returning. Like, so uh, there's only so many of those still out there. And we know that the, the core four aren't returning. So kind of narrows down your, your, <laughs> your, your idea for characters. But anyway, again, love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. We enjoy these types of videos and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel. What are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thanks.